In this video, we'll look at finding the forces parallel to and perpendicular to gravity. It helps if you look at the homework page from page 142. This is question 18a. It talks about a 20 kilogram piece of luggage on a ramp that's inclined 28 degrees. So we start by drawing a diagram. That's a pretty steep looking 28 degrees. Nonetheless, here is a right angle. This is 28 degrees and we have our piece of luggage here. We're gonna think about the different forces. Particularly, there's a force of gravity on Earth going straight down and then that gravity is going to be made up of two components. A force of gravity perpendicular or a force caused by gravity perpendicular to that gravitational force and a force of gravity parallel to that gravitational force. And since it's a 20 kilogram piece of luggage, we know the force of gravity is just 20 times 9.8, which is the effect from gravity on Earth. 20 times 9.8 is 196. So there's a force of gravity of 196 newtons. So we'll want to set up our triangle that is, we want a triangle just looking at those forces. We need those forces of gravity parallel and gravity perpendicular to equal this hopefully looking straight up and down. Let's make it a little straighter. Straight up and down force of gravity. This straight up and down force of gravity is 100, not 6, but 196 newtons. And then there's a perpendicular force this way, force of gravity perpendicular, and the force of gravity parallel. This is a 90 degree angle because a perpendicular and parallel they're 90 degrees to each other. Wow, just before we set that up we want to make sure we know the angles. That is, this is the triangle here we've created just right here, so we want to make sure we think about well, if this was 28 degrees, then up here we would have had 62 degrees. And I like thinking about that because then it helps me think, okay, this is 62, which means this angle here, right here, should also be 62. You know what I mean? This is the inclined plane here. And so from straight down to this, it's 62. So from straight down to the same thing, it's 62, which means the angle up here is 28 degrees. And since this is the 28 degrees, it stands to reason this angle down here is 62 degrees. Now I have more than enough to calculate what I want to figure out, which is the force of gravity perpendicular and the force of gravity parallel. In a right angle triangle, I can use Sokotoa. I can pick either of the angles, doesn't matter. I'll pick this 62 to work with. And if I want to solve, let's say, for the perpendicular force first, I'm going to work with this side and this side. This is opposite and this side is hypotenuse, that means I want the sine of 62 degrees, which will tell me force of gravity perpendicular. Oh, and I forgot my little vector arrows, but I put them in now. Very important for good communication. And same thing here, I made another important mistake, I forgot to put the magnitude. Very important, you'll get communication marks if you don't. Back to finding the force of gravity perpendicular, it's sine, which is opposite, force of gravity perpendicular, over hypotenuse, 196. So the force of gravity perpendicular is, I'm just going to multiply 196 times sine of 62, make sure your calculator is in degrees, and you get approximately 173 newtons. So we've got that force. And then we'll need to find the force of gravity parallel. So that's cosine. How do we know it's cosine? Because it's now adjacent and hypotenuse. So the cosine of 62 degrees is the force of gravity parallel is magnitude over 196. So the force of gravity parallels magnitude is just going to be 196 times the cos 62 and we get 92 newtons. And so what we've done is found the force of gravity both perpendicular and parallel to the 
actual straight down force of gravity. And we did it using two diagrams that helped us determine which of the SOHCAHTOA formulas to use in order to solve.